Hey guys, I'm back again, and uh, I know I'm a, I'm a day behind. <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing going on Mondays, I swear to God. Uh, but uh, here it is, it's Tuesday. And uh, for number four, episode four, and today, uh, the thing I think I know, I'm pretty damn sure I know, is that forgiveness is for the forgiver, mostly. Um, this is, this is something that I think most of us don't get ever. <laughs> um, and I, and I've only learned it in the last couple, in the last year or two, probably maybe a couple years ago. I, uh, in something I read somewhere, right. Uh, that, <clears throat> you know, we always think, you know, when someone does something that we don't like or that hurts us or, uh, causes us some kind of pain, suffering, <laughs> pisses us off, whatever, uh, makes our life hell, that we, you know, we think they, sh they should come ask us for forg forgiveness, right, and beg for it. I mean, it's, it's a traditional kind of way of looking at forgiveness. Um, but the problem with that is that it's not really for them. <laughs> uh it can be, right? I mean, if, if it's someone that you you love and you live with and, uh, and you gotta see every day, then forgiveness is partly for them. Um, and I guess it's always partly for the other person, for the forgiven, but it's mostly for the forgiver because when you, when we carry around uh, hate and resentment and anger and, uh, and and all these negative emotions about someone else. It who's it damaging? <laughs> Not usually them. It's mostly us, right? The the damage is mostly done to our own minds and hearts and bodies. Actually, I mean, that kind of you know negative energy makes you physically sick. Not to mention mentally sick, obviously. Um, it keeps you awake and it's, it's not, it's just not good. Um, so I found that it's just best to forgive people. Um, even ones that don't deserve it necessarily. I mean, it's not about whether they deserve it or not. It's what, do you deserve it <laughs> to let go of that, that negative energy? And, um, yeah, yes is the answer to that. Um, because it's just killing you me um it most of the time is not if, if it's someone you really don't dislike how often do you actually talk to them maybe never right but you're carrying around that energy in your own head every time you think of them or their name comes up or whatever uh it's not even it's not hurting them right uh unless you actually express that anger towards them or that resentment, then they don't even know, right? Because you don't even see them or speak to them, but you know, and you're carrying it around inside of you. It's just, just killing you. So my advice, one of the 52 things I think I know, uh, is to drop it and forgive them in your own mind. You don't have to do it in person. You can write it down. You can just say it in your own mind. I think it helps sometimes to write it down physically and then you can burn it or throw it in the trash, but don't mail it, you know, um, unless it's someone close to you that you have to relate to and speak to, then you don't even really have to forgive them in person or in a letter or anything else. Uh, it's not for them. It's for you to let go of it and just let that energy get out and get out and, it, and it's it's a big deal it, it really is a huge weight lifted when you do it so uh there's your advice for today for this week uh forgive someone that, forgive everyone in fact that you're holding negative energy towards no matter even if they don't know you right could be you know a political person um, or anyone, doesn't matter. Forgive them anyway and let it go because it's just eating you up and that ain't no 
good. All right, guys. See you next week.